In example 2, we have another geometric series. We're given that term 3 is equal to 32 and term 6 is equal to 4. We're to find what A is, what R is, common ratio, and we're also to sum the first eight terms. The formula for a term in a geometric series is term n is equal to a r to the power of n minus 1. Now, since term 3 is equal to 32, we know in this formula n is 3 and term n is 32. So we can write a r to the power of 3 minus 1, which is 2, is equal to 32. We also know that term 6 is equal to 4. Using the same formula, we can write that a r to the power of 6 minus 1, which is 5, is equal to 4. Now we can use these two bits of information, these simultaneous equation, to find out what a and r is. If we divide them, now the one with the higher power of r is a r 5 to the power of 5 is equal to 4 and divide this by a r squared so we write this out we have 4 divided by 32 and since this is true we see that r cubed is equal to 1 over 8 so then r would be equal to the cubed root of 1 over 8. Now the cubed root of 1 eighth is a half. So we have the answer to r. Now we can find what a is now since we know what r is and a is given by 32 divided by r squared. This is from this first equation since a r squared is equal to 32. And subbing into this equation a half instead of r, we have 32 divided by r squared. That's 32 divided by a quarter, or 32 multiplied by 4. And 4 32s is 128. Now we want to find what the sum of the first eight terms is. So first we write down the formula. The sum of n terms is a times 1 minus r to the power of n divided by 1 minus r. So in this case, for s of 8, we're subbing in 8 instead of n. So using the formula, we have a is 128, r is a half, that's a half to the power of 8. It's all divided by 1 minus r. So you can evaluate this. You can use a calculator to help you. And this works out to be 255. And that's how you do this question.